John Price came to the Electronics, the original MIDI modifier. Yeah. How are you? Very good, thank you. So you've got some new stuff here? Uh, I've got a couple of products. Um, I've got the Through 25, which is um, a much bigger version of our Through 5 uh, through box. So this one's got 25 out, as the name would imply. Um, that's, ju that's just distribution? That's like it's just thing. distribution. It's for people with larger studios. You might say, well, there's only 16 MIDI channels, but you can also be sending MIDI clock around the place. So this is for people who want to send a lot of MIDI to a lot of places. So it's just one to many, is it? Is it's it? just one to many, yeah. And it runs off a standard 9-volt power supply, uh, which we supply with it. And that uh, means that you, you can fit and forget it. Um, I've also got another product here. It's called the D-Sync which is going to um, be released in about four weeks' time. It's um, MIDI in to DIN sync and DIN sync in to back to MIDI again. So it goes both directions. Uh, again, it runs off a power supply. Uh, it's a quite straightforward product. Just does what it says on the tip. switch really. it on and it passively works, right? Yes, that's it, basically, yeah. I've got another version I'm kind of working on, which is, uh, this is very much a prototype. Um, and looks a bit like it really, but it's um, it's, it's the same sort of thing. It's got the DIN sync conversion for MIDI both ways, but it's got a, a knob on it as well, which you can use to introduce swing or shuffle into the into the DIN sync. So if you've got an 808 or something, you can actually make it swing, and you can add the amount of swing depending on the position of the pot. I don't think it's going to quite look like this, but it's. Uh, it's a sort of work in progress at the moment. Oh, it's interesting. Uh, well, I've got you. I'm really interested to hear what people are. Uh, are you involved in any way in the sort of the discussions about the, the next generation of MIDI? And uh, you must have some fairly strong ideas of what it should or shouldn't have, right? I've, um, uh, when I was at NAM, there was a bit of discussion about this, but actually, I don't really know an awful lot about it. I'm not really party to it. But do you, I mean, presumably, if you, if you were, yeah. what would you like to see? Well, obviously, higher speeds uh, are going to be useful to people. Um, I think it pretty it was pretty well thought out in the first place. Uh, I think the the program change thing was was a bit of a being a single byte message was actually a bit of a shortcoming of the original MIDI. But because course, everything only has 64 or 128 MIDI. Yeah, that's anyway. right. Um, but, I mean, they've added the bank switching thing, but that's kind of a, a cludge to sort of. It's a horrible to, it to work with. It, it is, yeah, it's not very very good working with that. So that, that but I don't know if they could do anything about that. Are there any physical limitations with the opto coupling to the speed or is that just a bit relevant? Well you can get faster opto couplers these days. You can get really quite quite fast opto couplers, so I don't think the opto coupling would be an issue. Mind you, people mainly transport MIDI over USB these days, so that's not really, a, speed isn't terribly, terribly much of an issue. With, with fast USB speeds, you can send it around really very fast. So uh, when are your, uh, when's the MIDI through gonna be, uh, is the MIDI through shipping at the moment? Well, the, the through 25 is already available. The, the DIN sync, that should be about a month. It's, it's basically ready, it's just gotta go into production. Um, this, sometime later, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I understand. A couple, of, a couple of months away or something. John, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed.